In this video we're going to be solving simultaneous equations by substitution. I've got two examples where we're going to be looking at linear equations um, and then we've got three examples where there's one linear and one different type of equation. So we've got a quadratic, got a circular graph and then a different type of graph. Um, so if we look at these first ones the linear ones is essentially just going to be two straight lines that meet, and that's the coordinate. Whereas with the one linear, let's take this one down here for example. Um, that looks like a circular graph, and it's going to be matched with a linear graph. So that's going to be something like a circle, and then the linear graph is going to give us... So here we're going to have two sets of solutions, whereas on the linear, two linears, we only have one set. Maybe the case that we only have one set, if this was a circular graph and it just touched it at a tangent, we'd have one set. could also have no, no solutions if it doesn't touch it. Um, the same with linear graphs, if there were two lines that were parallel that never met, then we would have no solutions to those, to those two as well. Um, but let's go back to the algebra rather than thinking of the graphs at the moment. So, um, the first one, we're going to be substituting. So, the idea is that we're using one equation to help us with the other. So, we've got the x equals y plus 5. So, if x equals y plus 5, instead of x in this first equation, we can just write y plus 5. So, we're going to write y plus 5. That's essentially replacing this term here. And then, plus... 4y plus 10 equals 0. So I've just written the rest of this, done that whole equation, but instead of using x, I've used y plus 5, because they're the same, x equals y plus 5. And now we just solve it like a, a normal equation. So if we do collect the like terms, we'll have 5y plus 15 equals 0. So y equals, sorry, 5y equals minus 15 y is minus 15 over 5, which is minus 3. And then like any other simultaneous equation, we're going to have to use substitution. I'm going to substitute into this equation, which I'll call equation 2. So x equals minus 3 plus 5, x equals 2. Those are our two solutions. Let's do the last linear one. So label them equation one and two. We've got that x equals 3y minus 4. So instead of x here, we're going to write 3y minus 4. But it's 3x, so we're doing 3 times 3y minus 4 minus 5y equals 8. Expanding the bracket, we're going to get 9y minus 12 minus 5y equals 8. So that's going to give us 4y minus 12 equals 8. Add 12 to both sides to give us 20. And then divide by 4, y is going to be 5. And then if we substitute y equals 5 into the first equation, I've chosen that because it looks a lot simpler. I'm going to get x equals 3 times 5, which is 15, minus 4, so x equals 11. Let's move on to where there's one linear and then a different type of equation because this is a lot more tricky and you normally end up having to solve a quadratic equation with this type. So for this first one, again we're given that x is just something. Sometimes we'll have to rearrange um, to get the x, x or y being the subject. I think we'll see that in the last example. Um, but we're going to use x equals y plus 1. So we're going to have y plus 1 times y equals 2. So we just substituted that instead of x here. So now we're going to expand the bracket. So we're going to have y squared 
plus y equals 2. And then we need to solve it like a quadratic. So we're going to make it equal to 0. y squared plus y minus 2 equals 0. And then we need to see if we can factorise it or not. Um, it looks like we probably can. If we do minus two numbers that multiply to give minus two and add to give positive one, I think that's going to be minus one and plus two. So y plus two, y minus one equals zero. So y plus two equals zero or y minus 1 equals 0, so y equals minus 2, or y equals 1. And then we substitute both of these in. Like I said before, we're going to have two um, solutions, because the graphs will cross at two different points. So if we substitute these into the second equation, when y is minus 2, we get x equals minus 2 plus 1 which is x is minus 1 and if we substitute in when y is 1 we're going to get x equals 1 plus 1 x equals 2 so we have two solutions we either have x is minus 1 and y is minus 2 and when x is 2 y is 1 I've written them as coordinates just to save some time but you can write them out as x equals minus 1 y equals minus 2 etc. Moving on to D, we've got x squared plus y squared equals 5 and y equals x plus 3. So instead of y we're going to write x plus 3. So we'll have x squared plus x plus 3 all squared equals 5. Just label these 1 and 2. So we're going to expand this bracket here which, if you remember, is going to be x squared plus x plus 3 times x plus 3 equals 5. And then if we expand that bracket, we're going to have x squared plus x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 5. I want to collect all the like terms and make it equal to 0 because we're going to have a quadratic. We're going to have 2x squared plus 6x, and if I subtract 5 from both sides, I'm going to get plus 4 equals 0. Um, because everything here is even, I can divide the whole thing by 2, which means I'll be able to make it a monic quadratic, which will make it a lot easier. So I'll have x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Two numbers that multiply to make 2 and add to give 3 are 2 and 1, so x plus 2 x plus 1 equals 0, uh, which means that x equals minus 2 or x equals minus 1. And then we're going to substitute those into equation 2. So either when x is minus 2, y equals minus 2 plus 3, so y equals 1. Or when x is minus 1, y equals minus 1 plus 3 which means that y is 2. So we've got our two solutions, x equals minus 2 and y equals 1. Notice how they're paired together and x equals minus 1 and y equals 2. Could, writ could have written them as coordinates but I haven't decided to on this occasion. You can write them either like this or like this. If you have different letters though, let's say you had p and q, you'd probably have to write them in this form rather than as a, a set of coordinates. Okay, now this last one, again I'm going to label it 1 and 2. Um, here, this is the one we're going to try and substitute into the quadratic, but neither of them are the subject of the formula. We could say that y equals 5 minus x, or x equals 5 minus y. Uh, I want to get rid of the y, because I don't want to substitute into all of this. It would be quite messy. So I'm going to say that y equals 5 minus x. And that's going to be our third equation. 
and then if we substitute that in, instead of y we're going to write 5 minus x, and that's going to equal 2x squared minus 6x plus 8. Add x and subtract 5 from both sides, that will get rid of this to make it 0. So we'll have 2x squared uh, minus 5x plus 3. And now we need to factorise this um, quadratic here. So I'm going to do the AC method. So 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, two numbers that multiply to give 6 and add to give minus 5. That's going to be minus 2 and minus 3. So I'm just going to split this now up into 2x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 3. Factorise both sides. So we're going to end up with 2 on the outside of this one. Oh, in fact, 2x on the outside, which leaves us with x minus 1. And if I take out 3 or minus 3 on the other one, that will leave us with x minus 1 again. And then we can um, factorise the whole equation by taking out the x minus 1. So we'll have x minus 1 outside of 2x minus 3. So we've got our two solutions, x equals 1 or 2x equals 3, so x equals 3 over 2. And then we're going to substitute those in. So when x equals 1, uh, we're going to have, I'm going to do it into equation 3. So y equals 5 minus 1, which is 4. So that's one pair. Or if x is 3 over 2, 5 minus 3 over 2, y equals 5 minus 3 over 2, which is going to be y equals 5 is 10 over 2, which is going to be 7 over 2. So that's our other pair there.